Galatians 6, 9. Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Oh no, I've seen that look before. Your wig is scattered. I mean, it's greasy. The edges have just fallen out and left you to die. Your hair is doing crunk 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 and matting behind your neck. I know. It's time to throw it away, girl. How are you supposed to be cute and go out when your hair is doing this? I have been there. Trust me. It is not fun at all. But don't worry. You are in the right hands. You've come to the right channel. Because if there's a way, there's a sleigh, girl. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I get my juicy curls and make my wigs last forever. Because let's talk about it. I've had this wig for what? Six? Seven? Uh, New Year's? Eight? Nine? Ten? Probably more months than that, sis. And it looks brand spanking new. So I guess we're about to hang out for a couple minutes. Keep watching to see how I achieve this. All right, so first of all, go get your dustiest wig. <laughs> Actually, first of all, subscribe to my channel, sis. Like, what is this, your third or fourth video? And you're not subscribed for a wet. Anyway. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, it's time to learn. So it's time for me to be serious. Go and get your wig. Let's get started. My hair is in terrible condition, so it is time for a wash. Now, notice I'm not just strangling and grabbing my wig. I am holding it with love. Do not hold on to the edges. We need to save those. As you can see, I have a few left and a little hole in my wig as well. So I'm trying to be delicate with it. You wanna hold the wig by the cap and not the frontal, okay? Now I'm gonna take a dime size <laughs> amount of shampoo and I'm gonna start scrubbing it into the inside of the wig. Yes, you wanna clean the hair, but the inside is more important too, sis. Like that cap is dirty, especially if you're natural, you need to make sure you get all that grease and gunk out of it. Look at that. Ooh. But yeah, like make sure the cap is clean and then you can go ahead and, you know, shampoo the rest of the hair. After a quick wash, notice how my edges are still intact. They are clean and wet, but they are still in place, okay? All right, so I have blonde highlights in my hair, so I'm gonna take the Shimmer Light Shampoo and it's gonna basically take the yellow out, add sparkle and shine. Any purple shampoo is fine, okay? If your hair is a different color, then the regular conditioner is also good as well. But anyway, I'ma squirt that all over my wig, lather it in real good, just revive my hair color, and I'ma leave it to sit for like 10 to 45 minutes. After shaking and squeezing the water off, I'm gonna take my towel and stuff it inside the wig, then wrap the rest around the hair. Then I'm gonna place it and press it. Notice I'm not squeezing it. You can be ripping the frontal up and you don't even know. You wanna press it gently and, uh, or firmly I should say, until it's dry. Now I let it air dry overnight. You can use a blow dryer. My wig has been through a lot as you can see. It's looking homeless. <laughs> I'm gonna take my mannequin head and you can tell I'm professional or whatever. Like it's all covered in hair dye and stuff. I be going to work. But anyway, let's inspect this wig because you guys swear my hair is always better than yours. Girl, I have the same struggle. That is a whole bald spot. Like don't even play with me, huh? I'm gonna pin that down and we are going to start getting this wig together. Please screenshot this serum. If you are new to my channel, this is a miracle worker. If you're not new and you haven't bought it, simple, you don't take my advice. <laughs> Please go buy this serum. It literally is what brings my hair back to life. I'll be using it all throughout this video and all my videos. But after finger combing the serum into my hair, I'm gonna go ahead and brush it through. And though my hair is dry, I'm still gonna take my blow dryer and combine it with a brushing combination. This will make my hair very much easier to style. And if your hair is wet, this is also a good process to go through. It just gets rid of some of the frizziness and you know, adds some luster and movement to the wig. Now that the hair is very soft and fluffy, let's take a look at what edges I got to work with. And I'm not even gonna play with you like, that is a bald spot but I can work with that. And I'm gonna show you how uh, much later. As long as, as there's like some hairs, you don't really have to cut the lace. Now this right here is a lost cause, sis. Like that is actually bald. 
there's no going back there but we're gonna figure it out now i'm not gonna cut off the extra lace even though normally i would because as you can see the lace is darker than my actual skin tone and this is gonna help me make the illusion that i have more baby hairs than i actually do like see i'm combing them forward the little that's there but when i lay it with gel it's gonna make it look like there's more hairs than that are actually like on the wig it's basically just gonna help if i were to cut it off it would literally stick to my skin and tug on my real edges and then give me a headache honestly as long as i have this little swoop de swoop in my middle part i feel cute this frontal though is bomb i have to give it to ali pearl like um i know a lot of aliexpress frontals are known to bald but this thing is still full on every single part and that is pretty impressive i'll leave all the links in the description box i i love their frontals they're very full and thick so they last pretty long but anyway it's my favorite time of the video it's time to curl our hair sis i'm not even gonna pretend to be bougie for you guys like i don't stop like a professional i slap that wig on my lap that is the easiest way for me to make sure all my hair is curled and slayed so i start at the back of the wig like the bottom like the surrounding and at the left corner i take a few rows of tracks and uh, i take a portion this size and i put the wand over the hair and wrapped the hair like around i'm basically just describing what's on screen i hope i hope you're a visual learner and you just watch but I'm making sure the hair is flat. I'm not twisting it. I'm not spiraling it. And this wand is magical, okay? You guys saw the only product I put in this hair, but this wand is non-stick and it's like heat protected or whatever. I'm gonna leave the link in the description box for the wand. It's not even a professional wand. It was like really cheap and I got it from Sally's and it just gets my hair together. So again, I'm putting the wand over the hair and wrapping the hair inward towards my neck or where my neck would be when I put on the wig. You know, I'm flat twisting it onto the wand. And yeah, this is what gives me my loose, big curls. Especially when you like curl a big portion of hair at once, the looser your curls will be. So as I keep going and I get to the other side, I now wrap it in the opposite direction and uh, let the wand do its thing. It is on 450 degrees, so me, I don't care. My hair can burn as long as I look good. Look at that contrast though of what I've curled and what I haven't curled. Like, it gets your hair together. When you do your curls like this, as I have shown you, if you can take your wig off and you don't have a sew-in, these curls are going to last, especially because I'm letting them sit. It's equal to me like pinning them. I don't like tight, tight curls. So on day one, they look really, you know, curly and that looks really good. Um, but they loosen up over time and look awesome. Now this frontal though still needs some work and we're gonna get to that. But I curl the main body of the wig first. I then put the wig on and you will look crazy. And I just finger out the curls so they can begin to fall. Now you guys have always said when you try to curl your hair like me, you burn your face. How that happens, I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. But I literally curl away from my face like this so i really don't know how you're burning yourself but please be careful um and look how luscious that looks compared to how it looked before like this wand is bomb i'm telling you the way i curl my bangs i just what the <laughs> what's going on my face i'm so weird anyways i just curl away from my face and let it fall brush it out and it looks gorgeous now the other side we're gonna get that together so i'm pinning that up and i'm repeating the same process girl my frontal is bald you guys are gonna see the sleigh. I'm even glad you get a chance to see the struggle in HD. <laughs> Ooh, that wand, that wand, man. This wand, applause for the wand. Applause for my handwork though. Look at these curls, yes. Don't get too excited though, we are not done. My hair is still doing hanta skanta in the front. So back to the mannequin we go. I'm gonna brush it through to give it some form and shape. And then I'm gonna take that serum one more time and put it through these curls. This is gonna get rid of a lot of the flyaways and frizziness. It's not everyday hairspray as a first result. And that looks good. All my curls are just connecting, giving the hair shine and luster and movement, getting rid of the split ends. And then I'm gonna take the wand and press the top down just to get my part together. 
add a few curls in the back, you know what I'm saying? The front is where the party's at, but the back is the VIP section, mama. So just get that together and then on to the very last step, I am going to take my generic shaping spray and this is going to just tie everything in. You don't wanna spray too much because then your hair will become crusty and hard. Just enough to give it shine, you know, to give it life. And that is it. Can we get a close up? Yes. Yes. Flaw wear, stiff wear. Dang, shorty, what's your name? Fine, babe. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Black screen for the win. Don't forget to subscribe. If not, you deserve this darkness. <laughs> uh, thank you guys for watching my video. I'll see you guys soon. I love you guys so much. Hug, hug, hug.